Hello everybody, Gibzomatic here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the secret bosses in Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Now I'm talking about Hirohara, and I don't know how to say his name, um, I'm guessing I'm saying his name right, and what, he is a secret boss in Borderlands, pre-sequel. Now to get to this guy, you want to go to Serenity's Waste and get, I'll show you guys how to do it, it's pretty easy um he is he will be a level 30 on your first playthrough no matter what rank you are and a level 50 if you're rank um you know if you're rank on your second playthrough on your true vault hunter mode and he'll be like rank actually at level 52 on your second playthrough he's actually a very nice boss and he's actually drops a lot of cool loot and he actually drops a lot of moonstones and a special legendary called the thingy which is a scav rocket launcher now what makes him so special is that he drops a lot and a lot of moonstones um, i probably farmed him probably uh... eight or eight to ten times um... at once and, and you know in one play session and i probably got three thingies and about 200 maybe even more moonstones so we'll probably drop moon about 20 to 30 moonstones each time at least that's what i thought so this the thingy and i may do a review on this weapon if you guys want it's a scav rocket launcher he drops it quite frequently like it took me about four times to actually get the my first thingy and then i got a thingy then like every time after that I got a thingy. So I got about three thingies um overall. But he does drop a lot of loot, so it does kind of get it does take a while to actually like sort through all the loot that you'll get. But he's a very easy boss actually. If you're you know, after you beat the game, you know, he'll be, you know, level thirty and you'll probably be around that rank. So you could probably just kill him very easily. He doesn't have much health and he drops a lot of stuff. He's resistant to corrosive and you probably see that in the gameplay. And you'll see, he just drops a lot of loot, and it's actually very good if you want to go do some, uh, get some legendaries to grind, um, because you'll get tons of moonstones, and you'll get easy legendaries, so, you, you know, say you want, I have a video on the grinder info on how to get legendaries like that, but, yeah, he's a secret boss, he's very easy to get to, he's in Serenity the Waste, so one of the earlier parts in the game, although he will be level 30, so you know that may you know you'll have to wait a while to till you get level 30 and level 50 um for both playthroughs but he's a very easy boss very very easy and he drops a lot of loot now some of the loot does go into the lava behind where he spawns although i don't think unless you go out very far i don't think you'll die you just do lose a lot of health very fast and he does also give a lot of xp um i probably started um, killing him about level 29, and I got probably level 33 whenever I stopped killing him, which, I mean, I probably farmed him for about an hour or two, and, you know, you just want to, if you don't know how to farm, just go, go kill him, and then if he doesn't drop a weapon that you want, or you do get the thingy, and you want to just keep farming him, just leave the session, join back, and you'll spawn in Serenity's Waste, um, if you did save there, which hopefully you did. And then you should be good. Just go kill him again. He's very easy to get to. Uh, you can get there right at the beginning of the, you know, whenever you spawn in. So it's not that hard to travel. So let me know in the comments. Uh, do you guys like this guy um, for moonstones and for everything like that? Because he's very good. Very good. So hope you enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video.